Hello and welcome. This is a character profile video for the class Ranger. And what I plan to show you is all of her skills, all of the things that she has, and I will introduce you to the character card that I've created uh, so it's a reference for you. And at the end, you'll get to see her farming speed. And I'll go into details about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and show you the Ranger. Okay, so uh, sorry for the abrupt music uh, that stopped. I, I would continue the music, but it'll just loop and it'll sound really crazy. So where you're at now is the Ranger skills. And uh, these are all the skills that you get for this class. They're all unlocked, and if this is your first time, let me just quickly go over what you're looking at. Obviously, the first column is the name of the skill. The next one is the cost to use the, uh, the skill itself and how many times. So let's use Spin Kick, the first one, for example. It, you can use it as many times as you want because it costs 20 uh, mana points to use as long as you have mana at the bottom or magic points, sorry, uh, you can use it over and over. Let's do True Shot, the next one down. You can use it three times. So after three times, there's a cooldown, and then you can use it again. The next column is uh, how many times it hits. So uh, for Spin Kick, it'll hit twice. And the next column is PvE and PvP. PvE is player versus enemy and PvP is player versus player and of course the specials for uh, what you're looking at the hits it says it hits twice I already did the calculation and show you what that total is right there for damage of PvE and PvP so want to note that it's not 204 for spin kick oh because it hits twice I did the total calculation and it's right there of 102. So when you look at the skill, when you get it, you'll say, oh, gotcha. It's, you know, it's 51% uh, uh, times two. So there you go. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, slide, which is the uh, player versus enemy. And it's my top eight picks for what I would suggest you choose. I'll see you there. So what you're looking at on this slide is the PVE or player versus enemy skills and what's highlighted in green are the top eight skills that I recommend and it's organized according to damage. So piercing arrow is your heavy hitter uh, skill for the ranger but you can use it once it hits the uh, the enemy once uh, but that's fine and it knocks them down so take a look at the screen if you want but this is just a recommendation according to damage what I would uh, do and just a heads up I take all of these top eight and I apply them into the uh, end of the video for farming speeds so I use these top eight skills and uh, with that let's uh, go ahead and show you if if it's different for player versus player skills so I'll see you on that slide and as you can see uh, not much has changed the only thing that has changed is the uh, spinning shot which is two steps below the green area or two skills below it and the evasive explosive shot which is the last green on the bottom those guys uh, swap places because the uh, explosion shot or excuse me the evasive explosion shot is uh, a higher damage percentage than the spinning shot so you know pretty good uh, all around for the uh, if you want to leave your PVE and PVP the same your choice just want to make sure that you uh, see what the top eight for PVP is so with that let's go ahead and show you the uh, enhancements for this character and then we'll move right into the uh, ranger card or the player card so we'll see you on the next slide here we go okay so what you're looking at is 
if you were to create this character and you go into say the uh, skill for spin kick and you see the uh, the circular attributes that are around it that are the enhancements that go with the skill and what I've done is I have placed uh, all of the uh, enhancements that you get for that skill in this chart so you are literally looking at every enhancement that the ranger gets for all of your skills in the third column where it starts with target move speed uh, minus one percent for five seconds this column the third one I try to make uh, that column how it affects the person you're attacking so that column is all about damage that uh, affects another player or another monster the other columns I've made uh, the first second and fourth one I've made for uh, benefits to you or to the character so that visually is how that uh, is laid out and the far right side is like true shot the next uh, skill down has what it has you can increase the number of arrows plus two more you can uh, get one piercing attack uh, attached to true shot that's what it is maximum one piercing attack and you're able to uh, bundle in the damage addition of al or la brave or however it's spelled or said la brave uh, into your true shot attack so whatever bonus damage uh, gives more or however you want to set it up it's connected to those two things so that is how the enhancements work so you may want to just pause this and take a look and and see what uh, what you get and from all that I've put together for Ranger I've noticed that there is a lot of a lot of bonuses like more arrows uh, extra hits uh, you even you know you have the uh, amount of charges the amount of times you can use that skill increased as well I mean there's uh, blasting gust and will of the wind one extra charge so you can use it twice uh, without it having a cooldown so this is how the enhancements work and like I said it's a lot of information to take in but just you know take some time look it over this is looking at everything the character has in one glance so with that I'm going to introduce you to the player card for the ranger and I will see you on that slide and welcome to the player card for the ranger so just like baseball cards I put this together so that if you wanted to skip to just the player card for future uh, videos uh, where I cover every character you can just skip right to it and go hmm I just want to see what it has uh, don't need all the details your call your option but I wanted you to have this as all in one spot so what you're looking at from the top to the right of her portrait is the player versus enemy and the top eight uh, skills player versus player and the top eight skills highlighted and their damages uh, something new that was added which is uh, immobilization so if you knock a character down or knock them up or uh, you uh, do anything to immobilize them simply pushing them back like a knockback is not immobilizing them it, it's stunned it it'll stop them for a second but in my book when they're knocked on the ground you can just get in those free hits so that counts as immobilization and looking at the uh, rangers player card it looks like she has six skills that immobilize and those are the ones highlighted in green the red ones obviously no but if she had more than one uh, immobilization skill I would have listed it as two instead of all of them being just one so that's fine you know it's more that she has and uh, what she can do and below that are all the skills you saw that on previous slides uh, that she has and below that is what you saw previously the enhancements so the only thing left is if you're able to zoom in and read it at the very bottom it's a uh, forward guard and super armor 
Many people really don't understand what these mean. I checked the internet and uh, gave a definition for it so you can understand it. So if you're just listening to this, forward guard, this means incoming damage will either be zero or heavily reduced. That's forward guard. Super armor, this means incoming damage will be reduced and effects that immobilize you, such as stun, knockdown, freeze, etc., will not happen for a duration of time. You'll find that super armor is used a lot in uh, Ramonis and in uh, Arena or anywhere that somebody can uh, not be affected, like um, Node Wars. Yeah, big time in Node Wars. So if they don't get frozen, that just means they you can do more damage. So this is what the player card is about. And uh, feel free to look it over. Uh, you know, pause the video and just see everything in one shot. But with that, we're going to move on to the newest feature of this uh, profile. And that is the farming speeds. So I will see you there. Welcome to the farming speeds section of this video. So to explain, we are choosing a place for all of our videos. That's going to be uh, Cron Castle entrance because their CP is 2,519 and our CP is 4,499. So wanted to choose a place that seems realistic uh, for farming. Here is the uh, clock. We're going to set that for five minutes to see how long we can farm for five minutes. And this is our starting time. We're using the uh, defeat enemy from the Black Spirit to count our kills. So right now it's at 60 out of 2100. And then we'll start and then we'll get the number and then subtract it so we can get how much. This is all the armor and items that will be on each character. So as you can see, I'm not doing anything else. That standard set is going to go to every character that I test on farming speed. And we need to clean uh, out the inventory to start fresh. So this is all I have. No extras. And thankfully no bells. So we saved a uh, spot that we're always going to use. And with that, we're ready. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. We just need to click on Autopath, and we'll bring up our instruments here. And again, we're going for five minutes to see how many she can kill in five minutes. And also give you an idea on how much money we can earn, too. So we start at the clock, and that doesn't need to be up there. This also gives you a good idea of what the character looks like in a battle and in a fight. You might choose this character because you like the way that she fights. One more thing to note is that all of the skills that she are using, that she is using, is the top eight that I recommended for player versus enemy. And yes, we're making sure that our pets are well fed so they can pick everything up. Just wanted to double check that. Let's see if we can change the camera angle so that you can see more action. And one minute and 15 seconds down. Already uh, 60 kills in, not bad, not bad at all. We'll just move her to uh, the center of the area. As you can see on the map, uh, I wanted to put her in a place where there are plenty of people to kill. You will come across as you uh, farm 
in various areas, you'll get the knowledge, the monster knowledge uh, experience, which will help your uh, workers that are in your camp. So, looks like we're almost at the three minute mark. Doing very well on kills. And like I said, uh, once we hit five minutes, we'll uh, stop uh, auto fighting. We'll go right to town and we'll see how much money that we, uh, money and items that we collected. I should also note that uh, do not be intimidated by the armor that I'm wearing. By the time you get to level 60, if you've watched my videos, from very start, when you first create the character and you go through the storyline, all of your black stones must, like that one, must go to enhancing your gear, giving you plus one, plus two. So by the time you are uh, level 60, you're very close to the uh, plus 40 uh, mark. And you don't need the pink gear that my character is wearing. This is just ensuring that I have a high enough CP to do the farming speed. And, well, Pearl Abyss gave it out for free. Thank you guys. But this, again, is the set of armor and items I will use for every character uh, that is not ascended or, um, ah, crud, I forgot the other one. <laughs> yeah. These are the default characters that you choose that are, that have a lot of skills, whereas the other ones have uh, minimal skills but they do much more damage there you go five minutes is up so we're gonna head to town yeah sorry the loading screens in there just wanted to make sure the video was fluid no funny business going on <laughs> all right so uh we're uh, avoiding touching the uh dagger but yes that is an item you could sell i will show you how much they'll give you for it looks like they came across some choppiness there as we try to get to the potion person quite honestly she was the first person I clicked on on the top left could go to anyone okay let's see what we got from that fight so it looks like we uh, may just Go back and see how many that we killed. Yeah, that looks like a better idea. So we started at 60. We ended at uh, 295. And if you just do the uh, quick math on it, that is 235 kills. As I slowly type this out. <laughs> Sorry, a moment to make sure I know my basic math. I don't want to get it wrong. 235 kills in 5 minutes. Very good. So, looks like we got 126 of the loot. So, I wasn't sure how I was going to do this. So, I'm typing out uh, how much gold I had. I was going to sell everything, subtract it from the gold, give you the, the total amount. 
uh, that I have, but I think I later realized, uh, just sell it, and, and there you go. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, so that was the plan that was going on here. Uh, like I said, uh, this is the first video out of the whole series, so we're getting the, uh, pattern down. So 30,240 and got some good skill books, some black rocks. We're not going to sell that stuff. You would want to use that to increase. And if you wanted to sell this, that would be a 46,000 added on top. But we're going to just go with the uh, the base drops, the, the, the garbage that we got. So we'll just uh, put in what we got, what we just sold. And now we can do the math. So if we earn 30,240 for five minutes, and if you times that by six, which is 30, uh, which is 30 minutes, then you've earned 181,440. So we'll just note that here. Now this, uh, what I'm typing out is gonna be the template for what I use on the next character profile and going forward. I'll just fill in these numbers rather than show you that I'm creating it. <laughs> so if you were to uh, farm for one hour, this is how much you get, 362,880. And last but not least, if you, uh, let's just say you were able to farm every four hours. So you would, I should have just said times four, but we'll just do it clean. Times four. There it is, people. In four hours, every four hours you get over a million, almost uh, 1.5 million every four hours of farming. And bear in mind, I'm not using the the best gear or high skills or uh, just you would have you can do so much more than this base that I have here. And with that, that'll do it. This is uh, the section for farming speed, so now you have a really good idea on what to expect. And with that, I will say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm always doing more, so please subscribe, like if you like these videos, and I will see you in the next video. You have a great day. Bye now.